And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Fortress Craft Evolved Frozen Factory. Oh, we're getting attacked again. And no more pristine glands, unfortunately. Well, the lab finished. So let's collect that. Go in here and look at our situation. Looks like we have advanced logistics. I wonder what this opens up. Uh, nothing I need particularly right now. Metal alloys is something I'm going to want very, very soon. Uh, but it's really expensive. So let's look at what else we can do. The BFL is okay. Um, that is something we will do eventually. Uh, advanced power grid would be nice. This is really expensive and um, it gives us access to the jet turbine, except we can't actually build a jet turbine yet. Um, we are quite a ways away. Uh, we're going to need crystal. We're going to need um, more nickel. We're going to need to automate all of that stuff. So one of the things that we did unlock with the last upgrade is, first of all, transport pipes, which is something we're definitely going to want. But let's see if it's in here. There's the rack railer, cargo lift controller, the basic cargo lift, and my excavator. This thing is awesome, I might add, and very, very useful. Uh, however, it requires an unknown material, and I'm not quite sure what that is. I actually have no idea what that is. Um, I completely forgot what that is. I'm going to have to look that up. But everything else, we should be able to pretty much... Servo motors, that's copper. Conductive, that is gold-based. And two of these is... is It's a pretty expensive recipe. I'm, and there's a reason for it. It's expensive because it's awesome. That's why it's expensive. So... Ooh, nice. Iron bars. Good to go. We're going to work on some power. We want power down in the area for the ores, the uh, tier 2 ores, so we can actually just run down there, grab them, and then uh, hope for the best. Um, so instead of this one going there, let's actually... Oh, jeez. Uh, let's see if we can't uh, jog that over. And uh, send it down. That's exactly 64, I think. 66, 5, 4, maybe. Maybe it's exactly 64. Uh, I want to bring that out to, I want to send it right down the middle. They right down the middle. Um, it's going to kind of be the theme for today. It's right down the middle of the, the mine shaft. As you can see, it brings us right, right to here. Where is it? There it is. So there is the line and we have to put this thing right below where that line terminated. See, now it connects. See, now we can dig down and we should be able to dig all the way to wherever this thing ends because it goes 64 blocks and the lasers also go 64 blocks. So now we are down here. We need to give ourselves a space to land on. Oh, come on. 
There we go. I need a space to just kind of work here. So this should be a couple above. Um, and the big issue here is we can't put the laser like right here. We can't put it here because it would block this. So we're actually going to have to go in a little ways with it like that. So it'll raise us up a little bit, but we should be able to go down right here. And we're just about to, we're just about to uh, break through. So let's actually go back up. Come on. Go back up. And now all I need to do is break this one. And it should make it most of the way down. Right to there. Okay, where is that at? It's a good height away. I think it's right there. Yep, right there. Bend it over here. Send it down. Now this little drop is a little different. This is quite a ways down and the laser might not make it the whole way. I should have built more lasers. I, didn't even, I, th I built. I had ten of them on me when I came down here. I didn't know that I was gonna go through so many of them. But I miscalculated all the little sub areas that we had to go through. And right there. So let's see where that is. Okay, right there is where we need it. And let's continue. Am I, did I go too far? <laughs> I was in dig mode. Come on, there we go. Sorry, I was in dig mode. Okay, well we have gold over there and nickel I believe titanium over here so a good way of splitting this beam is using a battery so we want uh, titanium what are what are our ratios here nickel would be good so you can see power is now down here which is good now we can actually use it to power ourselves uh, so that is a bad place for that hopper because a really good place is right next to it over whoa right over here that way we can just beam it directly off of there and that will power directly into gold so that's the easy one uh, the next one is titanium and this one is not so easy uh, I could beam it here and down that's about it so let's move let's move this it's out of power anyway so let's move it to where we could actually use the power like right there so now we can beam it uh, we can beam it this way and oh no I knew I was gonna do that right there no nope. is that still not must be on the bottom there we go. Now we get a little bit of power. 
Remember, there's ten coming down here. And each one of these is taking... How much? Uh, one point. It's taking less, a little less than two power per second. So we got plenty of power coming down. As soon as these are fully charged, the whole system should catch up. Now, the really tough part is nickel because this is going to be kind of weird. Uh, we're going to have to figure out a really good way of getting power over here. We might be able to beam it down directly. Oh, there's 10 power left in there. Come on, offload. There you go. So, oh, there's a ruby somewhere up there. Should I go up and get it? Oh, maybe it's not. It's a, just a glowing plant. She thinks plant. Ow. Uh, let's uh, go up here and see if we can't sort of map out where that nickel would be. So it is this way. So it's right over there. Um, we could put another battery right there to beam it to beam it off this way. Okay, so let's kind of put a pillar on the outside of where this nickel is. Okay. There we go. And this will, oh, really? This will tell us where we can beam the power. And so where's our exit? Right up there. So let's give ourselves a little bit of a platform here. I love the super build. Let's hop up there. And finish off the pillar. Not the wrong one, the right one. And how about putting it next to where the miner actually is? Oh, there's a light, of course. Oh, I misclicked again. So there is where the power needs to go. So let's put a let's put a light right there. It kind of sucks because it doesn't light up the surface that I'm trying to shoot at. So that right there can be a laser going down. And this over here, okay, that's an interesting problem. So this is where the line matches up. So that is a, that is an issue right there. Cause there's no, I'll just have to use one, two, three lasers to do that. See if we can run up really quick and uh, load in. Okay, this side is this side is my exit. Launch that grappling hook. And then use the lifts from here. Now that we've got power coming down here, I could actually start using the powered lifts to go even higher. Ooh. Thank you, turret, for taking care of that Minoc. Appreciate it. Okay, three turrets 
or three lasers is all we need. It's like that. Grab all the copper and tin. I'll throw in some ore. Head back down. plummet I almost hit that ledge I hit that little outcropping of coal once and it ju I just smashed against it died really fast okay so there's our line this should make it all the way and that should go down to power that so this is like the first little baby step um, to automation uh, getting power down here is the first challenge and once you have power there you know their options open up pretty easily because then you can either do a cargo lift you can use a conveyor system you know lots of options available to you from here just because you're able to now come down and grab a lot of ore at a time and uh, smelt it, you know, then the smelting becomes the real bottleneck and it just sort of ramps up from here. So you've got smelting and then you've got uh, even more smelting and it just sort of ramps up. So it, just a little bit of time is all it takes to uh, get up to a good spot where you've got a good number of bars in reserve and you can really push to automation. Um, one thing that it's going to take is a lot of iron. Ooh, another Minoc bites the dust. Uh, did I do I have a oh, I just have a basic I want to put a good drill motor on there but I really don't need to this vein is just about out so we are gonna want to move to that new lithium vein as soon as possible but now that we've got a good supply of material and we're able to really ramp up that production I'm going to want to, first of all, get some more power going and start smelting more and more of this material, uh, especially material that I use a lot of, which is uh, the tin, mm -hmm. copper, and iron. Not so much lithium. We do use some lithium, but not nearly as much. So I'm going to click and drag this out. That way I don't have to run down there. And how much tin is there? If my memory serves, that's a pretty good tin vein. Yeah, that's that's a really good tin vein. So I'm not worried about that. I know that copper is a good one. So I'm not too worried about that either. Oh, let's uh, fill up some ores. So you can see my bar count is slowly going up. Lithium I'm doing really well on. Uh, iron will go very fast as soon as I start making uh, cargo lifts. So that will go very, very quickly. I need to figure out what I'm going to research next. Uh, it would be nice to get metal alloys going, although that's going to take a lot of uh, experimental pods. It's going to take 200 uh, nickel just to build those. The copper and the, the iron ones, those are those are doable. I got lots of that. The nickel is a little less automated though, so that's a that's a tougher one. So anyway, that'll do it for this episode. So I thank you for watching and I will see you next time.